hey hello guys um my name is harry and um, this is my review so for the couple of the videos i've been sharing about my commuter bike my commuter motorcycle which is just right here i've been doing most of them while my motorcycle is clean but in today's video i'm going to share just the way that it is um there is something i've noticed there are some of the stuff it's hard to know when the motorcycle is clean but when the motorcycle is super dead it's very easy to notice and one of them is the engine up to the moment i'm speaking to you the my motorcycle is closed about two years since i've been having this motorcycle so it's about um one year and uh, seven months something like that and um for the time being i've been using i have noticed one thing which is not quite okay and i'm going to share with you guys today and I think I will take my motorcycle to my mechanical friend and I will see how we can fix this. But apart from that, in today's video, we will share more content, not like as we've been sharing before. So without wasting your time, you guys, please, I would like to see how would it my bike it is. And uh, I just left it to be just sitting about, um, about two weeks without even using. But the last time I was using, I noticed there is oil leakage just above the engine gearbox or near the engine block so i'm going to share with you guys just have a look at it so that's how that it is as you can see it is super dusty you see a lot of dust. i just left this one just that it is for a long time as you guys you can see the motorcycle is super late if you see on this side of the gearbox everything is okay if you see on this side of the engine everything is okay but if I turn this side if you see just down here you can see there is little engine leakage I mean oil leakage but let us see on the other side of the left side part of the motorcycle If you can see here all of this is oil leakage and I remember there was a video which I did about um, how the viscosity works in the motorcycle and um, when you use the motorcycle for a long time it means that the oil viscosity decrease the oil become becomes thinner and it can easily penetrate from the engine block so if you can see here from bottom here this is the gearbox configuration and uh, here you can see there is oil leakage so why the oil is leaking there is one reason if you see oil is leaking on your motorcycle connection part like whereby the engine block connects with the gearbox it means that the the gasket here has been worn out so the gasket is so thin to the extent the oil is leaking out so easily if I can just zoom from this side, I think you can see. Uh, I mean, I think you can see some of the, some of the oil on top here. You see, all of this is oil leakage, and this is not good for the motorcycle. The longer you use the motorcycle, it means that uh, there is a reduction in the amount of the oil in the gearbox, and when there is reduction in the oil oil level or oil amount, it means that even the oil pressure varies, which result into the here and the wheel of the parts in the motorcycle so in today's video i'm going to do more stuff with my friend mechanic first of all we are going to open the engine block the gearbox and then we are going to replace the the gasket just right here and then we will change the sprocket and the chain cover i mean and the chain as well but we will change both front sprocket and the rear sprocket which is just right there and then I will take the motorcycle to the bay wash where it will be cleaned. So let us see how it goes. But uh, for the general view, this is how it looks. It's so dirty. That's how it is. Super dirty, super dirty. And I left this to be dirty purpose so that we can see easily how you can 
diagnose or you can recognize the problem in your motorcycle. But if I clean this one, it could be hard to recognize until it becomes dirty. That's when it can be easily recognizable. It looks a little bit clean compared to the other side of the, of the seat. I just sat here, but it is not been cleaned yet. So this is my friend mechanic. First, first of all, he's taking out the seat so that he can get the access from the chassis. He's removing the covers which covers the battery, taking you to the tank so you can get motor, so you can get the access to the engine and the engine block easily. If you can see some of the electronics are just a little bit dirty, but I think I will clear them before replacing back the, the tank. So for removing the top cover for the engine, he is using the 10 millimeter, which is T-shaped like that one. If we have any other kind of spanner which can be used, you can use it in case you want to do this one. But in case you want to do this one, make sure you know what you are doing. Otherwise, you can make things worse than they are before. He is unscrewing the bolts in both sides. I think they are for them. So on this motorcycle some of the stuff I can do by, by my own but most of the stuff like this one which are um, like like this one which is going to be done by today. So this I mean this I mean this friend of mine is going to do everything. And then I will share with you guys on how like the engine sounds after everything is done, everything is being replaced. So that's the engine top cover, as you can see. That's a seal for prevention of the oil from leaking. That one looks pretty, uh, still nice and it can be used. So this is how it looks from the other side. So from the top here, there are different supporters. There are two bolts which support from, I mean, which support the the engine from the top here. There, there is this one, this one, and there is other one which which holds down here. So all of them have just been loosened. Once all of these are being loosened, it will be easy to remove the other parts of the engine, such, such as uh, the carburetor connector here and the rest of the um, exhaust, so that this top engine block can be separated from the gearbox, which is just down here. So the top cover, which covers the, the which covers the camshaft chain, is or the timing chain is going to be loosened, so that you can get access to other parts. And there are four bolts of them. There is a valve opening on the rear side of the engine, and there is another valve opening which is just right here.
carburetor is being connected. I mean, carburetor is being disconnected. Time to disconnect the exhaust. And for the exhaust, there is just two bolts which holds the exhaust connector in place from the engine. And uh, they were a little bit hard to get out because they were, I mean, they were. They were never been taken out, so this is the first time. After after taking out the exhaust, the other part which is being taken out is the timing chain, which is being loosened as well, so so that I can access the bolt which connect the engine top part and the engine block down weight to the to the gearbox This is the total delay. Flash anything. I'm going to DC the electrical end. So for me, I will skip some of the shootings because the main target is to get access to the to see the the down part where there is leakage of the oil. So we will see on the next part. But, uh, sometime now we have access to the engine block. If you can see. There is a piston down there, piston shaft. This is timing chain guider, which guides the timing chain, and there are two of them. The one residing on the front, the other one residing on the back. But both of them, they stay on the right side of the, on the right side part of the engine, or the right side chamber. So engine block has been removed and now we can see the piston is just right there. The rear timing chain guider is there and the timing chain is just right there.
I think it took it took less time than I anticipated. I thought maybe it, it might take longer, but it was a quick one. So the guy is cleaning the top part with a piece of rug. At the moment now, the piston is in the upper position, which will be easily the replacement in later when he's putting everything back. And once we replace the, the gasket seal of the engine block in contact to the gearbox, I think I will take this motorcycle for a test drive and maybe in a few days. I will share another video to see if there is any leakage or any problem or if there is any change in the sound of the engine and other stuff. So, at the moment, if you can see, the guy is, what he's doing right now, he's trying to loosen the, the residuals or the remaining of the previous gasket, which was used. And uh, it seems it was handy because of the temperature and the pressure or the compression of the, um, of the attachment by the bolts which were being used to attach the engine together. So he's doing this to loosen all of them. Once everything is less loosened, he will remove the remains of the old gasket and then he will replace with the new gasket one. As you can see, the gasket is getting out very nice and easily. That's how it's done locally. The timing chain is lifted up, and the gasket is still remains, which is taken out as well. So this is it guys, this is just a piece of it, so once you use your motorcycle for a long time, this it, uh, it becomes thin because of the temperature and it wears over time, finally the oil will start leaking on the edges whereby the engine comes into contact with the engine block and the gearbox. So this is the old gasket which has been removed from the motorcycle and this is the new one so this is what is going to be replaced You will see the, um, the gasket has been replaced, as you see, but before being replaced, 
uh, there was uh, there was application of gasket maker on the top of it to add more protective layer and to enhance the attachment or the um, the contact to be more firm. Now the engine block is being replaced back. Pressing back the piston will take some time and it needs more to be precise so that everything is okay. There are some rings and the connectors which I have to be pressed back together. has been put back so the other thing which the which the mechanic is doing right now he is trying to adjust the timing so guys as you proceed um, there are a couple of the things we have yes have just recognized so as you can see right now we are about to change the about to change the the drive chain the front sprocket and the rear sprocket if I can pull them together because you can clearly see that uh, all of them they have just worn out you can see the teeth are out. So, before changing even that one, eh? but you also have to connect that the rear bush, which holds the rear sprocket, all of them are just worn out as well. So, we would consider about changing the rear sprocket, I mean the rear bush as well. And then you can see how they are total one. You see, if you can see, all of them are total one. So, all of this need to be changed. Are going to be replaced with the new ones. So now he's trying to loosen all of this so that the bolts can come out. So now all the boys are being loosened so that they can be separated from the sprocket and the hub which holds the bushes in reference to the hub or to the wheel. And for the comparison, so this is the old sprocket. If you can see all of the teeth are worn out. You can just barely look. 
all of the teeth, uh, the teeth are worn out. This is the old one. And um, this is the new one. This is the new one which is going to be replaced. So it has 45, it have 45 teeth. I bet even this one has the same number. Yeah, I think it's the same. So this is going to be replaced by this one. And this is the front sprocket which is going to be replaced by this. I mean, this one is going to be replaced by this one. So, this is the old one, and this is the new one. If you can see, all of the teeth are worn out. All of the teeth are worn out on this one. There's some of the teeth are worn out, but uh, the new one is going to work out. Disconnecting the, the chain connector. And this is the old chain. It can be used to some extent, but um, in reference to the how the sprocket, the rear sprocket and the front sprocket being worn, I just considered about changing both of them. So just changing the whole kit. So for the so for the replacement, uh, the mechanic is going to replace these. These are handmade. These are handmade. I can say they are handmade. They are not. I mean, they are not uh, like the originals or aftermarket. The, all of these are made locally. So we just installed the bush and uh, right now we are, I mean the guy is trying to replace back the, the wheel on the, on the swing arm as it's supposed to fit.
he's trying to align it so that the, the I mean the rear the rear wheel is is well centered. Now he's putting the front sprocket on each place. The front sprocket is small in size compared to the rear one. Tightening with the iron key. So at the moment he is installing the new chain. The chain is secured. Now he is doing some adjustments so that the chain is well fitted. So it seems the chain is well aligned. Now he's trying to, to, to tighten up. And, um, for every setting of the chain, there is something called tension. So the tension is how the chain play a little bit in reference to the how much it has been tightened from the front sprocket to the rear sprocket. The rear sprocket is totally fisty, but the front sprocket, which is small one, plays a little bit. For now, you won't see if it's playing because the tension of the chain is holding this one in place. But um, before before tightening this one, it will be. I mean, it, I mean, it was easy to see how this front sprocket is playing. But at the moment, everything is really set up, and uh, we will see how far the setting is going on. Okay, so now it's time to replace the. The sprocket cover, I mean the chain cover. The rear one is done. It is being tightened up. The front one, I mean the top one, only process. Okay. 
And for the rear sprocket, there was there was this other setup. There was some studs and there was some other bolts. Um, but the original boss which came with the motorcycle seems to be pretty so so much strong. So we opted in not using these rather than we use the originals which came with the motorcycle. So this one aren't going to be used. Maybe for future uses we will consider that. So the rear cover is being replaced back. Uh, he is draining up the oily so that he can replace the other one. Tightening it so that it doesn't stay loose. So for, there are some of the stuffs like changing the oil on your motorcycle. If you think you can do it, please do it. But if you think you can't do it, try to consider seeing a mechanic and make sure that you go through the user manual so that you don't mess up on anything. So everything seems to be in place on this side. The battery cover is being placed back in place. And now the oil filter is being removed as well. On the previous video, I did change the oil filter because it was still in, in, I mean, it was still in good shape. But now it's time to change it. Filter in place. And there is something I have noticed so far. If you consider about changing the if you consider about changing the oil filter timely, the motorcycle is subjected to stay longer without being in with any problems. So every time you, to, you consider about changing the oil, you consider about changing the oil filter as well. And every time you are doing oil change, make sure you have an oil catcher so that you don't pollute the environment. Take whatever you try to use, but make sure you catch the oil so that it doesn't spill on the ground. And now it's time to pour the oil. And the oil we are using now is the one which I have been using most of the time is total high performance and uh, it's a minor one, not synthetic and for this motorcycle they just use just one liter is enough but if you are using different model of the motorcycle the amount of the oil in your engine is subjected to change, is subjected to vary. It's the same as uh, the price of it. The cover for the gear, I mean, I mean the cover for the gearbox oil is being replaced back. The 
the residual or the remaining of the oil is being taken to the nice press for dumping. So right now everything is secured in place, everything has been checked in, the engine, the gearbox is okay, everything has been changed, the transmission, I mean the drive chain has been changed as well, the sprocket, the line, I mean the tire is well centered, so right now we'll take the motorcycle to the bay wash, and then we will see how it does later, once everything is done. so that it aligning with the transmission from the gearbox in reference to the power which is being driven from the from the engine now he's putting everything back with the iron key Wiping out all the plates. He's trying to check if, if, if everything works properly. If valves are opening as required. Now it's time to put back in the carburetor. So once computer is being secured, the other thing he will come, he will secure the the mountings.